This might be one of the most broken teams together. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what I'm talking about in just a second. So I hope you're all excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, it's going to get started. So it's more of a trio than it is a duo. Here's what I mean by that. So Skycall actually hops out as well. I would say this is actually a excellent monster to run with those two. But here's the thing with Skycall, you can always go ahead and switch it out with another Mega Taunt. Like King Adam's still usable in my opinion, but obviously Skycall is a better option. Just go on and just giving you guys like an um giving you guys another option if you're missing scout call for example or if it's not leveled up enough uh anyways we have gonzo here gonzo has triple speed you can always go ahead and switch it out with team speeds it's it's nice to mess around with speed and team speed on gonzo but anyways it's at 137 we made it super fast huge thanks to bunky for letting me borrow our account and making this video possible for you guys but anyways here's the thing we have feed the baboon and there's another skill that actually gives triple damage you don't have to run uh you you can run those skills but it's not just that that makes this monster good Think about this, all right? Look, we have crazy protection, which actually applies evasion to your allies, but also means control to the enemies. How will this benefit you? Here's the thing. With this monster, Bobby Bashir, you have this skill right here, which removes control immunity from one enemy. You're getting an extra turn, right? So you're going to be doing a plus one bonus just from removing control immunity. But then if you have new amulet, that's technically a plus two. But besides the control immunity, you're also applying stamina regen to the enemies, which can also be a plus three and another plus three. So technically a six straight away for you because of uh which you might call it this monster removing positive side effects um so if the enemy doesn't have any positive side effects at all right if they're not uh, starting with anything then taking in the first turn with gonzo and applying for example this or the uh control immunity can actually help you out um which i actually recommend uh so definitely run gonzo with that with this monster together and they make such an excellent duo uh also removing evasion from one enemy i mean if if you ever go up against elvira for example or something you know applying that uh evasion to them if, if that evasion is already applied that could actually help you out but anyways guys so we have ural we have naya and this monster so let's see what are they gonna start off with in the beginning they already have enough but if they didn't what you can actually do is go ahead and for example apply evasion to yourself and immune to control to the enemies like this now what's nice with that is that um well unfortunately they have dodge areas but let's say if they didn't what you could have done was just remove positive side effect that's plus three another plus three with the new wave amulet and you could have basically unlocked the um ancestral awaken just like that as you see we have more than enough what we can do now is just one tap all these guys so Euro's gonna die Euro's gonna come back and then bobby Shear will get the turn in next turn and he'll go crazy <laughs> so it's just nice um i would i would definitely recommend uh running both of these guys together because of that i feel like i can already see lots of players investing in this monster just because of that now you can actually apply double damage as well next turn and then benefit from the double damage that way if you're going up against any magic monsters for example or if bio is going against another bio Shear, you can still deal a good amount of damage not just a you know decent amount it's gonna be a better version because better amount because of which might call it um the double damage or triple damage for example whichever one you're running um another thing is though let me see there is a what should i call it a triple damage skill right now with the triple damage you're also applying a 25 25 percent damage boost to all enemies as well so you can actually benefit from that remove positive side effects from that for example you know what i mean um and that's pretty much it with that like in terms of skills for this monster um the double damage doesn't really benefit you besides just giving double damage and 50 percent stamina but if you take a look at the triple damage you're you know boosting your allies and also uh you're basically boosting the enemy which actually can be nice uh, where you can um remove positive satisfacts you know what i mean uh, i want to actually check pvp to see how many players are already investing this monster oh wow bunky has enough already almost maxing this monster out that's insane that would be a pretty good duo let me see. Look, somebody's actually running it already. Let me see. Who is it? Loud Suits? Heck yeah. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That's awesome. So now, I believe I'm super, super fast. Maybe by a few thousand or so. Let me see. Yeah, 63,000 to 55. So now what I can do is actually swap out one of the speeds into a team speed or whatever else. Honestly, whatever um, that we have. Uh, it's actually more of like life and team life and stuff i wish there was a uh team speed i was actually gonna do that but it's okay it doesn't matter so you can play around with speed and t speed there on that monster um but yeah you just want to basically benefit see this that's what i meant the duel you always see them on pvp everywhere so look there's only megatont there yeah only megatont right what you can do is go ahead and apply uh control immunity or for example 
where you can do you can also do damage boost whichever one you want stamina regen whichever one you want to mess around with i'm gonna do control immunity let's do that so they all have control immunity right what we can do is actually remove control immunity from one enemy here so that's going to be a plus two and now he gained evasion from his uh i believe that's mermaid spirit no that's not mermaid spirit but that's a different one uh electra patrol shield so now that he gained evasion and stuff now i can actually do this which is technically a plus six which helps me get my ancestral awakening now normally you would probably pair you know bobby here with a different monster not uh gonzo so yeah let me see what we could do here let me apply torture immunity if that's needed although it's not really needed but let's just apply it anyways actually no that nightmare right there it was blocked thanks to torture immunity so you can apply a random negative side effect or you can go ahead and apply triple damage to your allies now with the triple damage plus you know our ancestral being awakened that is such a good combo look at this ladies and gentlemen we have a 200 damage boost although actually we don't really benefit from the triple damage that's why i actually kept the triple damage but if you ever want to switch around here and there you can because you're not really benefiting from triple damage triple damage is really a, a uh, status caster that you already are gonna get uh with your rage of the baboon so it's better to just run the, the double damage skill but yeah you know there it is wait for it boom <laughs> look at that damage <laughs> wait all right so those two monsters are back we can easily take them down. I still have my Rage of the Baboon. Look at that. Can we apply Salmon? No, we don't need Salmon Rage. We already have our Ancestral Awakened. Come on. At this point, you know what I mean? Might as well just attack or wait till your Ancestral gets a turn in and wipe them all off again. But yeah, it's it's such a good duel. Such an excellent duel. Uh, now, we've had a, we haven't had we have um, a nice duel like this since Shadow and Naya those two monsters together you guys remember from blossom era right we haven't had that uh for a long time so these two monsters make such a good duo i've made videos on it but now we finally have a different one which is gonzo and uh Bashir. now we can actually feed this monster up to 144 right now or we can just keep it at 140 um i'll let bunky decide on that but this guy's this duo right here is such such a nice duo. it's it's so good so if you are gonna purchase the largest pass um you know pair it up with this guy he's good and obviously he's good but it makes it better so <laughs> just when we thought that it was op enough it got op or i don't even know if that's a word but you understand me uh also legends pass guys it's, it's talking about the legends pass i'm actually giving away two legends passes right now uh for you guys make sure to check out one of my recent videos i actually posted a video on how to actually um you know kind of uh register or whatever for that so if you guys want to go ahead and join that giveaway make sure to you know what i mean check out that uh video and enter it if you haven't already 100 stamina we don't need that let's apply triple damage although no wait triple damage we what am i doing and might as well just eliminate him fully and get our special awaken for next turn but i don't know if i'm gonna win against this one because of voltic actually our bubber shear is super fast it's, it's it has double the speed of this voltic you don't want to make voltic that slow see that's that's where you messed up all right see ya so he's dead she's dead uh she's gonna come back there's bleeding we'll do evasions everybody that'll help out actually that would have that helped me against a uh, voltic actually yeah uh, even if that voltic was fast it would still help me because this monster has like basically double if not triple the speed of voltic so um even if that voltic was faster i could have actually applied uh what's it gonna call it evasion that way voltic would have kept fighting against sky cold and couldn't have done anything um and this monster has dodge area obviously so anyways let's go ahead and use this and eliminate them boom get out of there yeah get out of here man <laughs> with your evasion you think that's gonna stop me no it's not gonna stop the most op monster in the game so for those of you guys that are still um thing that what should i call it the scrifania is still better than this monster you still think so you, you still think scrifania is better than bala bashir think again <laughs> let me know but anyway i'm just testing what she has you guys can have your opinions i personally like bala bashir more but let me know in the comments down below who you guys like more bala bashir or uh sky cult but again like i said if you want to join the legends pass giveaway make sure to check out one of my recent videos so you can join it and get yourself gonzo for free have a chance to get gonzo for free but anyways guys it's gonna be pretty much it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out